Hello everyone, this is the Macintosh Collector, and this is the next addition to my Apple device Macintosh Vintage Mac Collection. It is actually a modern device. This is my new iPad Mini, which I purchased a few days ago just because I wanted one, not because I really needed one. And it, the price was reasonable, and so I picked one up. It's a 16 gigabyte version of the iPad Mini. As we know, the iPad Mini is Apple's smaller iPad tablet, which has a 7.9 inch screen as opposed to the 9.7 inch screen that we find on full size iPads, like the iPad 4, which is what I'm using uh, to record this video tonight. I have a smart cover on the iPad Mini, and when the smart cover is closed, the iPad is locked. When it is opened, it unlocks and it gives you the screen. Uh, not only does it have 16 gigabytes of storage, it also sports the A5 chipset and it's actually very quick. It's not as fast as the iPad 4 which has the A6 chipset, but it's night and day quicker than the first generation iPad that I have, as well as the Microsoft Surface RT that I have. Also, the display is not a retina display like the iPad 4, but it is, because of its size, very sharp and clear. So why don't we have a quick look at the device. So here we go. These are the stock apps that came with the device, and here I have the apps that I have since downloaded to the device, including Kindle and iBooks and Facebook and Facebook Messenger, some NASA apps, some news apps, some productivity apps, banking apps, YouTube, and so forth. Oftentimes I find myself at night just kind of putting this on the nightstand and playing videos through Netflix with it. Uh, we look at the settings we look at usage with those apps loaded on there are 12.3 gigabytes available in storage with only 1.4 use that's about 90 percent free space I do not have any music or videos on this iPad at this point in time uh, battery life battery life is sufficient it actually you can run this thing probably a full day doing standard type of browsing and so forth and the battery will get you through doing more intensive type things like video editing or recording videos or taking pictures will probably use a little bit more juice than what you would otherwise use uh, if we could take a look at Safari and we'll go and we'll have a look this is Apple's website we'll have a look at the new iPhone app and we'll do it in landscape to give you an idea about how video works on this iPad mini very nice web browsing is really quick and easy it's actually very quick and very nice of course uh, I have my calendar in here so I'm able to keep track of my appointments I can download pages onto here and actually use this to write. I can read with this thing. Here's the Kindle reader. And here's the Welcome to Kindle book. I don't keep too much in storage because I want to keep a lot of the storage open and free. Now, the white screen's fine. The white screen is fine. Let's put this back in portrait. But at night, in the dark, it might be easier on the eyes to use a black screen with white print. 
which is a very nice little feature too. All right. Uh, Facebook is Facebook. It's just uh, like any other tablet. Twitter the same way. Uh, it's just a nice iPad. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing with this. The smaller size. It's actually very, very nice. This iPad is, if you look at this, it's super, super thin. It's ultra lightweight. It's very easy to handle. It's very easy just to kind of hold in your hands to be surfing the internet, reading your emails, reading an ebook, reading an e-magazine, watching a video. It weighs practically nothing compared to a full-sized iPad, which can become kind of tedious holding it in your hands. It's really nice. And to be honest with you, what I'm finding right now is that I'm finding that I'm using the iPad Mini more than I'm using anything else. And I'm actually using it to record these videos. I'm able to record them in HD, which is what I could not do before just with a Kodak camera. And I'm actually able to do some video editing right from the stock app. Right from the stock app. Like uh, my, my PowerBook 1400 was an 18 minute video. I was able to cut that video into two parts and post a part one and a part two in order to be in compliance with YouTube's 10 minute limitation. That was excellent. So I'm actually finding myself using this little iPad mini for most of the tasks that I'm doing, like the video recording, like the video editing, like the video posting, and, and even some writing and keeping appointments and taking pictures and surfing the internet and getting and answering emails and chatting with friends, it can do all of those things. It's an extremely useful and an extremely lightweight and an extremely convenient device. Way to go, Apple. You did it. You have reinvented the tablet market again. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with this little device. So this is Macintosh Collector. This is the next addition to my Apple device, Apple Computer Vintage Mac Collection. And we'll be coming at you again with more videos, hopefully, very soon. Thanks for watching.